There you see Harvick racing Kyle Busch for position after they've made their stops. Oh! oh hey, it's her team. Oh, man! Is that a misjudgment or is that a turn on purpose? Rusty, what do you think? Well, it looked like Kevin was trying to dart man. back underneath them. He had a big run and just didn't quite clear him. It looked like a racing accident to me, but boy, it's They awful. bumped earlier, though. Remember, earlier yeah. they, had a, they had some... Uh, Makes you wonder. Wow. See, Kevin oh, tried to do that swap me. over. And four. Wow. Yeah, you heard Kevin's radio. So he pulled right in front of him. Wow. Take a look and see what happens here. Kevin's coming off the top of the racetrack. He did. He slid right yeah. up. Thought he had him cleared. Kevin gets below him and mm. woo. Mm -mm -mm. I'd say it was incidental, but uh, Kyle's probably not going to feel that way. And that's oh, yeah, Kyle Bush to pull the car left. over and stop on the racetrack. Get out of the race car, bud. Get so the fire out crews of the car. can go attend to that. Comes the fire truck. He's coming to your left. Oh, Bud, you gotta get out of it. You gotta get out of it, man. You gotta get out of it. Look at that. All right, there's the fire truck right there. But it's up front of the motor. You gotta get out of it. All right, he's out, boys. He's out, and he's okay. So Kyle Busch and Kevin Harvick racing for position just after making green flag pit stops. Contact once between mm. the two cars and contact with the wall for Kyle Busch and the caution is out for the 10th time in this race. Still got a seven cars that hadn't pitted yet in this exchange of stops. Rusty what do you see there. They, they just got so close Brad coming off of turn four right there. Kevin had a big head of steam up on the 18 car tried to dart back underneath him quite didn't quite clear him got into his left rear quarter panel. And there we go. Let's take a look from Kevin's in car. Crossing over. Oh man, he just spun us. If he was coming back to protect his position, it looked like Kyle was probably coming back down the racetrack just a second. Well, it's good to see Kyle out after that fiery crash, but uh, Kyle, what was your interpretation of the incident? I, I don't know. Um, you know, he, Harvick pulled a slide job on me earlier in the day, and I crossed over and passed him clean, but apparently it wasn't in the, the time of day in, in order to do that. I, I don't know, but my guys work way too hard to be in this position and fight hard all day long. Uh, to be put with a wrecked race car at the end of the year. You know, we wanted to come out here and finish strong. We felt like we had a top four, top five car, and uh, it just means it means so much to me, to those guys, that we come out of here with a good run like we were having, and it's very unfortunate. You know, it's just a guy that uh, doesn't have his head on straight apparently today, and thought everything was good. Talked to him in the, uh, you know, in the pre-race and the drivers' meeting and all that, but he's such a two-faced guy. It just doesn't matter. Thanks, Kyle. Marty, what was your take on the incident with Kyle Busch? I just, he raced me like a clown all day, um, driving all over me, um, run all over my back bumper, and cut in front of me, and I didn't lift. Congratulations on a great season. Thank you.